Kylie, you did some great bowling out there. What was going on? You couldn't make the diamond. What happened? Uh, I don't know. The ball just wasn't working, so I hope ne for next half and next few halves that it'll work. I was so. telling all the fans that's kind of what happened when you bowled for the scholarship. Uh, you were hitting them. You just come up a little short. A couple of those shots wouldn't carry for you. Yeah, it's, it, it's what happens in bowling, I you guess. You did a great so. job, though. Thank you. We'll see what you can do the second half, Kylie. Jonathan with a nine drop and some tough wood out in front. Needed to hit it either really, really low or up high. He didn't get the break up high. Nice nine for Boudreaux. It's always, uh, that first box is always the worst one. I mean, he could have had a spare if he got any luck. Hit it good. Hey, we should, we should go interview the cameraman. Get a little, <laughs> trying to get some uh, thoughts nice from the Nice ball by today. Jonathan. Yeah, Robbie's never, uh, <laughs> Always got something to say. Oh, here she is. She's back. Danielle, you had a great first half. 52. How'd you feel? Yeah, uh, Jonathan Throwing your first few in. balls out there. Really confident. All right, you looked it. You looked it. You looked like you bowled great. Thanks. All right, well, keep it going. Good luck to you. Jonathan cashes in with a mark, and Chris really should have had the mark, had no luck, but settles for a 10. I think Lombardo's due to break out. He was just kind of plugging away that last match. Didn't hit anything big, but he was bowling, uh, you know, respectable and all that. Boudreau with a big nine. Jonathan, Jonathan can be very tough. And he's all over it. As we said, Jonathan is a past champion on our show. At this time, we'd like to uh, congratulate all the graduates of 2009. There's a big oh, class yeah. out there. A lot of graduation parties going on these last couple of weekends. Many of them are off to college. A lot of our bet bowlers have had their last year with us. I'd like to wish all you kids the best of luck in whatever you decide to do with your lives. We hope all of your dreams come true. Hey, it is three, three in a row. In a row. Yeah. We got a prize to give away from Manson and I think we were both sleeping a little. I noticed at the same time you did. You snuck that in without you us did. knowing, Dan. Now they quietly picking those nine pin drops. He's not your uh, Hunter Johnson jumping around and letting you know he got a mark. He's all over it again. Really in a nice rhythm right now. Yeah, I think he's feeling confident. Lombardo needs a mark here. He's got 35 through four. He's pinning well. Another tough leave. We had uh, Jonathan sub for my team for Robbie Taylor the other week in a in the summer league. And, uh, he's warm. I gave him some unofficial warm up for this match. He bowled really well. What he doesn't know is he bowled so well. I'm not going to use him anymore. I can't be using that 120 average he's carrying. It's a nice half by Boudreaux. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I know what you're saying. Johnny. Uh, well, I'll tell the story in a minute. But at the end of this half, Lombardo's at 42 and Boudreaux at 72. We're going to have the ladies come back up. And uh, Danielle Manser and Kylie Desemiak will be finishing out this first game. Chris, 72 half. You were on fire. You got the three marks in a row. Nice ball. Yeah, missed that last one by about five feet, but you know, that's fine. Yeah, you can't pick them all, though, right? <laughs> no, you can't. You try to, though. Yes. Well, nice job. Nice job. Chris. 42 half there. You're not bowling that bad. You're not getting a lot of spare leaves. What's what's going on out there? <laughs> uh, I really don't know. Well, you know you got a good partner in Kylie Giuseppeak, so you're not out of it by any means. You're still right in this match, right? Yeah, I'm going to try to get some spares in the next half. All yeah, right. Well, good luck to you, Chris. Good job. Keep it going here. Thank you. A professional interview couple he gave there. A couple of words from our bowlers today. They don't give up. None of our bowlers give up, and they all have a good time. You can see Maury. He knows he's throwing a good ball. The marks will come. He could have easily had two of them that first half. Easily. I thought he had two. Kylie could have two as well, the two diamonds she hit. Mansur just missing that shot. A lot of bowling left here. Couple of nines by our ladies. Mansur's at 70. Giuseppe at 63. Three frames remaining in this first game. Yeah. 
Danielle Manser represents the Leo Super Bowl in Amesbury, Mass. Another outstanding facility. <laughs> two, two easy shots I hear like in the crowd. I think that was Robbie. Pretty when they go, Dan. Pretty well, when they the go. Right might be a little more makeable. Oh, nothing's impossible. No, that one might have been a little bit easier than Kylie's because she's got that little extra wood on the left that if she had cut the three light, I think that might have helped the last two pins go. Sometimes you make those shots. And you don't expect to make them, so you throw a nice loose ball and yep. and then they go. Sometimes it's easier than a single. And it can get you going, too. With a single, sometimes you tend to squeeze the ball yep. a little bit because it's too easy. Quarter pin hit for Manser. Nice pocket shot for Kylie Giuseffiak. She's hoping that wood is either going to stay out of their way or come forward and straighten out. Well, Danielle just missing there. It's a tough, tricky chance piece of wood. Let's see where she hits Kylie it. and Krista. Oh, Lock yeah. Pins off that lead, and she does just that. Wood no, almost did cost I, you that I'm one. Just going to say that. The dude. ball managed to have just, just enough of an angle when it hit the five that it took out the, uh, the eight as well. Well, Danielle throwing her first tough box in a match of four. Gives Kylie a chance to really gain some pins here, gain a little ground with a big fill. They're in the last box. Oh. She's all over the hip and again. Both bowlers were with drastically different results. That 158 again, Dan. We've seen that 158 a lot. Yep. <laughs> she kicked the she field did, goal. Yeah, she did the field goal salute. <laughs> hey, Kylie just calmly pinning away. She never seems to get angry. Yeah, chops out the half whister, the 3 9. It's a big swing at the end, though. Another 5. Kylie and 9 picks up four more pins. Danielle finishing with 86, and Kylie and 99. So Kylie picked up 13 pins. Add that to Lombardo's 42 half, that makes that 55. They're only down 17, Dan. So, you know, that match is a lesson in great pinning. You know, Kylie got outmarked two to one, but wound up picking up 13 pins because of all the nines and tens she hit. And Lombardo all over it. Lombardo's gonna make a run here. I said he's due. I he, said it. He did hit two in the first he's half that he due. didn't get. So, partner got him close. Now you know your partner makes up half the deficit and makes you feel like you have to do something to try to make up the rest of it. 16, 16 minus a ball. Back to single digits, Dan. Well, they've really been chopping into it. They've made a lot of headway. Nice ball by Jonathan Boudreau. Nice ball by both. Nice fair leave. Boy. I do you really think I like I the right side, Dan. I look at this one for Jonathan. I'm not I'm not sure that's gonna go, to be honest with you. Oh, red line down. He's going down. Oh, I did go. Look he at went that. in front of it. He needed to come off the wall and take it. The good shot. That was a nice shot by Jonathan. There's the out. There's the out. A good nine. Good nine by Chris Lombardo. Chris is at 68. Boudreau filling the stair with the 1-5. The 1-5. That's something new. You said you had seen the 1-5-9 a lot, huh? The 1-5-8. The 1-5-8. That's a new one. 1-5. Only still two... Picks up three pins and yeah, adds to his lead. Looks so awful. <laughs> Look at it. That lead on up a, on ten. On a spare. That was right. Make a oh, no. Slip by to the right. I knew that was an opportunity there if he could have made it. Still could, still could gain a pin or two with an out. Chris is going to settle for nine. He picked up one. It's a very close match. Lombardo needs a mark to crack the hundred. 